catch it December night on the shores of Lake Michigan. Soldier Field, Chicago. Big time playoff implications tonight as Brandon Marshall and the 6-6 six six Chicago Bears welcome Tony Romo and the 7-5 Dallas Cowboys. So here comes Tony Romo and here is December. You've heard about the struggles for Romo and John pointed it out at the beginning. He's been very good needing to score points with an offense that has some diversity to it and DeMarco Murray with about 700 rushing yards there for the run. The question is this team that throws it so much will they be able to throw it effectively in these tough conditions tonight. Drive start from the 25 and there's a run and there's Murray to the 44 yard line so they open with a big gain of 19. They run right off that right side. It's going to be a midline zone. Watch everybody step with their outside foot, and the Chicago Bears continue to get gashed. That's the 58th run this year that's gone for over 10 yards. Inexcusable. Murray should feel good about his opportunities tonight. He's had a good year, and this Bears team, as you said, the worst run defense to this point in the NFL. So Murray will try the left side this time, and he'll get to the 49 yard line. Game of about five. John, what about this Dallas offense? Bad Bears run defense, and they have a fullback now, Tyler Klutz, former Bear, who they signed just this week. Leads Murray's way to the left into Chicago territory. Murray a first down at the Bears 45. And man, this rush defense better get their act together quickly. Well, he's just in his second game with the Bears. The 44. It is again Murray, and it's again a good game. Down to the 38-yard line. John, they're just running at will here on the Bears. No resistance to start. Runs of 19, 5, 7, and 6. And now Romo play pass. There's one of the night. Everything's covered. Romo kept the play alive and fires into the sideline. But Miles Austin couldn't pull it in. It's incomplete. Romo Tom over the middle Murray gonna get past the linebacker James Anderson and keep this Dallas drive alive to the 32 yard line great opening drive here for the Cowboys will pull it out to Austin Miles Austin gets to the 27 yard line Zachary Bowman with a tackle Bowman there's Charles Tillman remains out Tina Tillman punches the ball out like nobody else with that unique style wrap a guy up punch the ball out Murray left got a bit of a block but only two yards thought he's gonna be able to use Mackenzie Bernardo's block a bit more it's an NFL record 100 yard rusher against your team in six straight games pass situation here third and three Play nine of the drive and Romo with time great grab by Beasley Cole Beasley lined up almost in the backfield and John he gets the Cowboys into the red zone at the 15. That's the point you made at the beginning those are hard jobs those role players here tonight at the 14 Murray left Gets around Patrick at the 10, at the 5. Murray working towards the goal line. And he's out of bounds, but it looks like it's a first down for Dallas. First and goal for the Cowboys. James Hatt is the tight end on the left. Klutz is the fullback. And Romo will roll it and throw it away. Good job he saw that Witten was covered. He just trashed it in the back of the end zone. It'll be second down. They ran it easily all the way down the field. Will they be able to punch it in from two? Gonna throw for a second time. And the back shoulder throw is a touchdown for Des Bryant. Number 10 on the season for number 88. That's what a good team does. They come on the road, they take the opening kickoff, and they drive it down the field. So the continued ankle injury for Jake Cutler out for his fifth game, and Josh McCown gets his fifth start the veteran age 34 has done a nice job moving this offense through the air and ripping again out of the gate that's caught by the former cowboy Martellus Bennett who fights for the first down past the 32 yard line now let's talk about this Chicago offense officially from the 33 it's another play action pass this time it will be thrown 
to Forte, and that pass incomplete. That's a play McCown needs to make right there, Mike. I believe he had four last year. He's a very good ball hawking linebacker. They've taken it away 25 times this year. After the incompletion, they'll put in the hands of Forte to run, and there is Ware, who has been hampered by injury, the injured quad, week six against Washington. So as the coaches grade their film, the guy turns out to be one of the best in addition to the sack number. Forte picked up the pressure, gave McCown a minute, and he fires complete to Alshon Jeffrey. First down. It's a great throw. It's a great catch, but Forte gave him a chance to do both. A nice job by McCown in the pocket. Here's Forte, an excellent blitz pick up against Selby. And McCown keeps his eyes downfield and throws a strike to a big receiver. Look at this wingspan, Mike. I tell you, Jeffries can go get the ball away from his body, unlike most young receivers. He's got a huge catch radius. Special. That's the word used by everyone up at Hallis Hall where the Bears train. When you ask them about Jeffrey, who has over 1,100 receiving yards this year. McCown right back to Bennett for the first down catch for Martellus Bennett to the 45 yard line. Gain of seven. Blitz. This kid Forte can catch it. He can run it. He it might be the best blitz pickup back in football. Hurry, hurry, cut. Second and three. Drawn to the left. And Forte will get the first down as Sean Lee rides him to the ground at the 38 yard line. It's a nice call by Aaron Cromer, the offensive coordinator of the Bears. You have to slow down where in this pass rush lure him up the field and then go get the linebacker on the second level nice pass set by bush rod he clubs the defensive end and off he goes to the second level forte has made a lot of yards on that old-fashioned draw play that aaron cromer has brought here to chicago let this team in rushing every game this year closing in on a thousand again a little pitch to the edge. Gets past Jarius Witt. And Forte taken out of bounds at the 26-yard line. And the Bears are answering the Cowboys opening salvo. Mike, I think this is a big concern for the Cowboys. If they play cover two, I promise you Mark Tressman is going to run the ball against this soft box. And you'll see all kinds of different runs. They just fake the give to the fullback, flip it outside to Forte. And, and as a 34-year-old veteran, you want answers. He said it's the first time he's come to the stadium and not been nervous on game day because he has answers to the problems. So first and 15 after the flag. McCown firing, and it's caught by Marshall. Brandon Marshall trying to escape from a tackle. Sean Lee wrestles him down. Two yards shy of the first down. And it all starts with pass protection again, Mike. Matt Forte peels across the formation. He picks up the linebacker blitz, gives McCown time to set his feet, and Brandon Marshall. Opposite Alshon Jeffrey gives the Chicago Bears a dynamite one-two combination. Second drive of the game. Dallas scored on the opening drive. Chicago trying to respond in the red zone for Tech to the Tech. Forte to the five. It'll be first and goal for the Bears. Neither one of these defenses are very good statistically, and it shows early in this game. Just a zone stretch play right off your left side, and it's all the way to the safety. And Barry Church has had to make way too many of these open field one on one tackles this year. That's as good as you can block the play. Church is the second leading tackler. Nice step, but bad news. He's your free safety. That means. They're saving tackles. See that wind whipping? It's swirling. First and goal for the four. Forte. Can he bounce it outside? Nick Hayden out of Wisconsin. Season long starter. And that's rare to say on this injury ravaged Dallas defensive front. If McCown gives him a chance to go get one. Forte holding his elbow as he came over. The second to go, Michael Bush, the big back, gets close to the four-yard line, just inside of it. It was kind of the elbow of the wrist area, perhaps, as they were getting the cape on. We saw Forte reaching up and uh, in some discomfort. Third and goal. Jeffrey working along at the top. 
McCown looking left. The end zone. Touchdown, Earl Bennett. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, there's two rookies there. J.J. Wilcox, 27, 38, Jeff Heat. Matter of fact, there's four Cowboys in that vicinity in the end zone, and none of them were near Earl Bennett. Watch just the two-man slot combination. It's impossible to be that wide open, and clearly the inexperience in this Cowboys secondary shows up. There's a lot of frustration. We'll have the ceremony for you live. Second drive for the Cowboys in their own 16. And it's another big run for Murray. DeMarco Murray, 14. First down yards to the 30-yard line. Boy, this is too easy. That's great cutback running by Murray. Watch him bring it back to the right side. McKenzie Bernardo makes an excellent block. And these young linebackers for the Bears are having a hard time finding the ball. Green, the fourth-round pick out of Rutgers. Bostic, 57 is the second round pick. Long toss by Romo to Murray. And that one the Bears were able to go over and chase down, including the former Cowboy Jeremiah Ratliff. Take a look at these young linebackers in the first series. You see Leary on left guard, McBernado at right guard, do an excellent job washing these linebackers by the hole. And then it's Tyron Smith at left tackle. They just do an excellent job pushing the pile and mauling Chicago Bears on the second level. They've got to step up and address their run defense, and it's up to these young linebackers to elevate their play. Final seconds, first quarter. And Romo checking it to Murray. The minimal gain, and Zachary Bowen takes him to the sideline. We take it to the end of the quarter. Mel Tucker has his hands full. Here they come with a blitz. It is third and seven to start this second quarter for Romo and the Cowboys. Anderson sack. Pepper's there at the end, but James Anderson, one of the veteran linebackers, former Panther, gets there first. You got to give Mel Tucker credit. If he can't get there with a four-man rush, he'll dial up some blitzes. And you see the brutal conditions. The official game time kickoff temperature eight, wind chill minus nine. It's down throw. It's Jeffrey with space. Alshon Jeffrey, another first down throwing to the 46-yard line of the Bears. Now this receiver coach, Mike Groh, he told us Jeffrey gets the quick screens and Jeffrey gets the reverses. And a lot of times it's Brandon Marshall, number 15, who does the blocking. I give these Bear receivers a lot of credit for checking their ego at the door. They support one another. Nice work by both of the big receivers. First down from the 46, and it's a throw to the middle, and there's Marshall, his turn now. And a first down into Dallas territory at the 34. That's a 20-yard game. Well, that's what Josh McCown likes about this offense. He changed the formation, he changed the play, and he goes to a sluggo seam. He moves a free safety, and down goes the seam to Marshall. Watch him look off the young safety, Heath, and he throws the ball in the dead area to Brandon Marshall, but... You have to credit Josh McCown's football intelligence. He's well prepared, and that preparation shows. There is the reverse to Jeffrey. Does this so often, and Dallas was prepared for it. You know it's coming. Jeffrey has run the ball 15 times now. 15. Big loss on first down for Jeffrey. So it's Martellus Bennett. And Barry Church minimizes that gain. Mark Tressman, as you know, had the success in Canada with two great cup championships with Montreal, a man who had bounced around many stops in the NFL and in college football as well, known for his terrific offensive acumen. And at age 57, this Minnesota native gets his first opportunity as an NFL head coach. And, boy, it has ignited the Bears' offense this year. Vast amount of football intelligence and... Knows how to apply it on a weekly basis. But again, I think it's this offensive line that has really allowed some of his game plans to dance. They've done an excellent job of blocking.
Play calling is going to be interesting because field goals are going to be tough here tonight with the wind. McCown rolls it and throws it. Marshall, first down. Again, flag down in the secondary. It's going to be a hold on the Cowboys. So it'll take the ball down to the 22 yard line. Well, Chicago hasn't had a left Carter tackle. Pass. Holding. Defense number 39. Kelly's decline. First down. Brandon Carr guilty, but Chicago has not had a left tackle that can block the Marcus Ware one on one like Jermon Bushrod did on that play. Let's take a look at it on your left side. It's the Marcus Ware with no help at all, and Bushrod's done a nice job protecting the blind side of Josh McCown. Big conversion on third and long. 23. Forte runs right and runs into Lee. And Sean Lee will stop him there right around the 20-yard line. It weakened their safety position. So to have Lee back, it strengthens the linebacker core, and certainly it helps them at safety, keeping Barry Church back where he belongs. At the 20, here's Ware from behind. McCown able to get away, get some space and take off. Oh, pick up a block from Marshall. What a block by Marshall. And it's a first down on the run for Josh McCown. Vicious and legal and an outstanding effort by Brandon Marshall. But the Marcus Ware almost gets to McCown. He has the presence to step up in the pocket, abort the play, and take off. Watch Marshall. What an excellent job coming to help your quarterback when he's in trouble. Hey, John, you know what I've noticed about Marshall? We've been around him going back to his Denver days. He's into the small things now. Instead of 100 catch guys, becomes so much of a team player with Jeffrey and no jealousy about who's getting balls and blocking plays like that. Bears already have 10 first downs. Forte keeps the feet churning and gets it to the seven yard line. Make a good point. I want to go back to Marshall. Mike Rose's dad, Al Groh, terrific coach, college and the NFL level over the years, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Second and goal. End zone shot. Incomplete intended for Jeffrey. Should hit that. I don't know who covers Alshon Jeffrey. The goal post is shaking, and even short throws were fluttering. So anything down here is really earned tonight. Third and goal. McCown going to take off. Can he get there? Yes! Touchdown, Chicago. What a championship effort by Josh McCown. You talk about a backup quarterback all you want. That kid has come in here and given everything he has to the Chicago Bear football team while Jay Cutler is getting healthy. That time he sells out. He goes over the top for six. Watch him. Nobody open. It's a three-man rush. He jumps right through the Dallas Cowboys for the go-ahead score. What an effort. Feels like minus nine to the exposed skin. Third drive for Dallas. One touchdown, one short drive, and Romo over the middle. Des Bryant takes it to the 45-yard line. I beg your pardon, that's 89. Gavin Escobar, the rookie tight end with his sixth catch of the year. See that coming a mile away. Romo loves that power pass, and it really fools these Bear linebackers. Double team, pull the backside guard and the linebacker steps up and there's nobody there. You'll see the tight end enter from your right side of your screen. 57, Bostic, fooled by the fake. Great ball handling by Tony Romo, what a throw. Been forever since Escobar caught one. One reception last six games. Sets up Murray down the sideline. He gets a big game to the 32 yard line where he's marked out of bounds. Brandon Marshall saying we're Central Florida. That's where Brandon went to school. Murray Wright escorted to the sideline, but another good gain. And uh, the yards are coming in easy chunks both ways here tonight, John. Ellis only had 10 on the field, so Miles Austin throws the cape off. Comes over to the receiver spot on the left. It's another run with Murray. Why not? He just pushing 100 yards here before halftime. First down for the Cowboys. It's a collaboration. That includes Tony Roma. Everything else is just a charade. We can call plays now. Give it to Murray. Bears can't stop him right now inside the 17 yard line. So 
Second and eight. Murray running to the right with room. Oh, we get to the 10-yard line, shoved out of bounds there. So a yard shy of the first down. Be third and one coming up for Romo. It is frigid no matter where you were born and raised. Third and one, and they're going to oh throw on third and one. And it's Witten for the first down. And it's Witten to the goal line. And in for the touchdown for the Cowboys. That's what the running game does for you. It creates a wicked sting with your play action passes and that time Eagles selected him they didn't think they could do the finances so they traded his rights to the Bears unable to reach a salary agreement with George Hallis Martellus Bennett with the leap in the game out to the 30 yard line a gain of seven so prevalent tonight as Mike Ditka gets honored franchises that are great coaches in Hallis and Landry and all time running backs like Emmett Smith Walter Payton on each side iconic franchises the run by Forte for about a yard and a half and we'll have 30 short coming up for the Bears they're over their last four on third or fourth and one this is third and two we're gonna throw for it with McCown to Marshall Brandon Marshall down at the 41 and the chains move again can't stop Chicago that's five for five on third down Mike and just a wide departure hook route. Scandrick is playing off coverage. Good protection, nice rhythm, and a good throw by Josh McCown. Five for five on third down, and Jay Cutler can't wait to get back and play in this yep. offense. He can come back from that high ankle sprain. He did get some work in practice this week. And not cleared and ready to go. McCown did such a nice job in his step from the 41 hit low as he throws to Jeffrey who made another sick catch Jeffrey with the grab and let's see if that flag is for the low tackle on the quarterback but Al shot Jeffrey his hang time his wingspan his catch radius he has been a human highlight reel for the Chicago Bears I'd like to get their practice video of some of the catches he made out there in the practice field the other day this dude's ridiculous he I mean, really is <laughs> the Golly. touchdown against Minnesota last week he just takes the ball off of defensive backs heads I and mean, the guy is extraordinary they're gonna start doubling him and Brett Brandon Marshall's <laughs> gonna get some coverages he's never seen before Orlando Scandrick victimized a couple of times on this drive and he'll set it up it's Dante Rosario the backup tight end down to the five-yard line. Rosario with a rare touch and a grab. First and goal there. That's great design by the Bear coaching staff. DeMarcus Ware can't wait to rush against the tight end. He can't wait to rush Rosario, who's coming across in motion. Rosario bluffed him and slipped into the flat as the screening back, and he has blockers out front. Well-orchestrated perimeter screen play by Mark Tressman and his Bear coaching staff. And if they play loose, he's going to hand the ball to Forte. First and goal for the Bears, and they do run Forte. This time a terrific read by Barry Church. Comes up to make the stop with 153 to go, but there is a flag down. So first and goal for the 15, and McCown tries to set up the screen, but it was red. Jason Hatcher was all over it. It was Nevis with the pressure, but Hatcher occupying Forte forced him to abort that play. Second and goal. Shot for the middle. Martellus Bennett goes up. And the tight end couldn't bring it down as Jeff Heath, the rookie out of Saginaw Valley State, was there in coverage. So the Bears are looking great. First and goal at the five, but that penalty pushed them back, and now it's third and goal. Stepping up McCown, Forte's going to have to make it on his own, not going to get there. And Brandon Carr takes him out, preserves some time for Romo and the Cowboys offense, as we'll see Robbie Gold come on for a field goal attempt. The wind whipping from 27, they able to get it down. Good job on the hole there, too, by Podlis. And you can see the wind affect the kick. The three-year apprenticeship, seventh year as a starter. It's an unbelievable story of undrafted to $100 million quarterback for the Cowboys as Bryant with the catch across the 35 right near the first down mark. 
And as Bryant slow to get up here as we have a minute 15 and he doesn't get up he's down and the Bears training staff comes over to him without missing a play one timeout Bryant back on the field first and ten. it's the four man rush it's time for Romo and Whitten caught a touchdown earlier couldn't hold on to that one that's a Y option Peppers is inside going after right guard McKenzie Bernardo. You see the Cowboy, the Bears linebackers communicating their change of the defense at the last minute. And Romo's pass is too hot for Murray and incomplete. And Tim Jennings thought he had one go on the other way. Third and ten. Chess game is done. Romo the toss sideline. And Terrence Williams couldn't bring it in. Zachary Bowman with the coverage. So after one first down, the Cowboys will punt to Hester inside of a minute. A lot of confusion in the Bear defense that time, but Bowman does an excellent job against rookie Terrence Williams in coverage. The Cowboys, if you remember, beat Philadelphia in Philadelphia in their first matchup. That second one, Week 17 in Dallas. McCow with a throw. Incomplete with Jeffrey and Earl Bennett down there. And Barry Church coming over from his free safety spot. Second and ten. Underneath it'll be Forte. We'll get nine yards. It's third and one. Bears have timeouts to burn. Again, this the down and distance they struggled over their last four on third or fourth and one. This one's going to be a throw and a conversion with Jeffrey to the 44 yard line. The Bears burn a second timeout. One remaining. 25 seconds left in the half. Talked about watching the Cowboys after coming home from church, especially when they played that noon game, Central Time. Now he's playing against the Cowboys on Monday Night Football. Look out at the bottom of your screen, Mike. 25 seconds left. McCown middle shot. Brandon Marshall stops on a dime. The pirouette takes him to the 25. Will they use it? Yes. Final timeout taken. 17 seconds left. McCown thought they were going to get up and kill the clock. But the 19-yard gain, Tressman said, let me take this last timeout and take my chances from here. 17 seconds left without a timeout. McCown steps up. End zone shot for Jeffrey. Go get it. We got oh, he got it! Touchdown! What a play! That's an impossible catch. Let alone getting two feet in at six foot three. McCown puts it up. Let's see if he gets both feet in. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> to the ground. That ball ain't coming out of those mitts. What a play by Jeffrey again! Undersized young Dallas Cowboys, Webb number 20, Heath number 38, the monsters of the Midway. <laughs> Al shot Jeffrey. What a catch. That's an impossible catch and sideline concentration. Look at those hands. <laughs> Think of McCown. He's. <laughs> having the time of his life playing in this offense 34 years old with these receivers in this scheme this Dallas team on pace to give up more yards than any other Cowboy team in history give up 271 they brought the pressure to swing it out to Forte on that first play and he shot in the 30 yard line he had just less than five Foul. and Ruffin McCown got passer. rough defense number 99 contact to the head 15 yard penalty Automatic first down. That's two on George Selvey. He went low earlier. 50. 50. Evan Britton, extra offensive lineman, has checked in as an eligible tight end. Do a lot of this. And mostly stays in to protect. It sent four out, and Forte is one of them. Brought down to 48. Lisa Salters, how you doing down there? It's Six and seven, Lisa. Third down conversions tonight. Hurry, hurry, this is a second and six. And Forte's got space. He's got a lot of it. Forte still going. Horrific tackling inside the 20. That's a great audible by Josh McCown. He audible to this pick screen. 
that Forte has made a lot of yards with. Watch the right tackle set and go get a block for Matt Forte on the edge. He knew it was man-to-man -man coverage. Brandon Marshall ran Clarence and picked the linebacker covering Matt Forte, but that is excellent recognition by Josh McCown, an outstanding audible. He knew it was man-to-man. -man. He read the Cowboys like the back of his hand, and he shreds them. And Barry Church, somebody needs to make that tackle on the sideline. 34 on the game. A break for Forte. Here's Michael Bush as the back. Keep throwing. McCown. End zone shot. It is nearly intercepted. And for an opportunistic defense this year, Orlando Skandrick got his hands on one. It's, it's like a rock coming at you. It's so cold. Dallas team that has come up with 25 turnovers, and that has really helped ease the other poor numbers on defense. Cost to Bush. Pick up blocks. The former Raider gains a couple of yards. You might remember Michael Bush in his first four years in Oakland when Darren McFadden kept getting hurt. Bush came in. He had a near thousand yard season in 2011, but he has not been able to get going this year. Under 100 yards on 45 carries. Third and eight for Chicago. Pressure comes. McCown gets time and he throws end zone too tall for Marshall and incomplete. And the field goal unit will come on. An attempt. Now the operation in bad weather done well, as those guys have done so often. Manley has played more games than any other bear. After the Raven game, and he's not kicking on the best of surfaces either. Ice cold weather. What a performance. Dwayne Harris has to run up and get it at the 10. Harris got the edge. Look out. Gold is chasing Harris towards midfield. He cut it back inside. And is tackled at the 46-yard line. So that short kick, Harris was able to get his hands on it and take it for a 44-yard return. Sure do. Huge return by Harris. The Cowboys need a score. And Joseph Randall starts this third quarter as the back. It's a game to the 42-yard line. It's a seven-yard pickup. Lance Dunbar got hurt last week. Season-ending knee surgery. His other option was Philip Tanner. But he told us last night that Randall would be the guy wants to get on the field. And now Murray for a yard. That'll take him to 100 yards for the night as he's uh, stopped on the sideline. Cow Keeping the Bears to a field goal was big. Now Romo and the Cowboys need to get on the board. Tony Todd fires a tie. It's incomplete. Wind is very tough. And throwing the ball has become a problem going towards that corner. And with the great field position, starting at the Bears 47, the Cowboys go three and out. Dallas scored a touchdown, but Chicago's responded 13 consecutive. See Sean Leap, number 50, back on the field for the Cowboys as McCown. First down throw complete to Martellus Bennett. The tight end, who was a Cowboy draft pick, then went to the Giants with a good reception there. Let's just look at this Cowboy front without DeMarcus Ware on the field. Not a lot of people know who Drake Nevis is. Martez Wilson picked up off the street. You look out there and you really don't recognize a lot of these Cowboy defensive linemen. Other than Hatcher, 92 Jarius Wynn is playing. And they're getting overpowered tonight. To the 25, McCown continuing to throw. Oh, it's nearly intercepted again. That time it was the dropping Bruce Carter out of North Carolina's second round pick. They've had their hands on two of the last four passes thrown by McCown. So maybe Dallas getting a little beat on him here as Jarius Wynn helps stop Forte. Ware has been injured. He has five sacks. Third and ten. Big play here for the Dallas defense. And McCown fires, and it is intercepted off the deflection into the hands of Sterling Moore. But there's a flag down on the contact, so Moore has the pick. But it looks like Brandon Carr may get called for a hold. That's another penalty against the Cowboys that results in a first down. This one huge because of the pick, but who knows if it would have been a pick if not for that hold. Bush in the backfield, Forte split out as a receiver. 
Edward Cowan continued to throw it towards Jeffrey. Couldn't bring that one in. And the coverage of Brandy Carr over there. So from the 30, they will this time stretching Forte to the right. And Sean Lee, who came back after that stinger and is uh, feeling the effects of that on this cold night and in pain as well. And I don't know if uh, they're going to keep him out there. He's going to tough to see. Third and nine. McCown over the middle. This is caught by Earl Bennett. And he'll take a first down to the 45 yard line. There's that Tampa 2 coverage. And if you don't get a pass rush, I just don't see the benefit of playing it anymore. Earl Bennett's going to hook right over the ball. The middle linebacker comes screaming down the middle of the field. And Sterling Moore, number 26, has got to read the quarterback better than that. That's way too easy. And Jermont Bushrod, the left tackle of the Bears, continues to do an excellent job against the great DeMarcus Ware. We're talking about Sterling Moore. There's a guy who's uh, signed off the practice squad of the Patriots. He's been on multiple teams. The third year man out of SMU. Forte on the toss to the right. For the game six. He'll be brought down by Bruce Carter. Nick They're Hayden. Decimated. Yeah, Nick Hayden got hurt here on this drive. The defensive lineman out of Wisconsin. Hurry, hurry, cut. Forte. First down to the 38-yard line. Saving tackle by Barry Church. This rookie right guard for the Bears, Kyle Long. He's going to be on somebody's Pro Bowl team quick. Just an inside lead play. They're going right after Bruce Carter, who has struggled in run defense, and Fiametta digs him off the screen. That's just good point of attack blocking. Fiametta, Kyle Long, nice reach blocked by Garza. Punishing inside two back run. Cameron Lawrence and J.J. Wilcox just came in for the Cowboys. They're at the bottom of their depth chart right now. And Bush runs through to the left, the yard shy of the first down. A lot of unknowns. Corey Irvin in the game, number 69. Back into the game comes 96, Nick Hayden. There goes Nevis. It's a patchwork group. And the Bears are wearing them out. And there's Rod Marinelli. He's one of the best defensive line coaches that you can find. He's just lost a lot of men. You have a big back like Michael Bush on a night this cold, 6'1, 245. Nobody wants to tackle that. And Monty Kiffin, the 73 year old defensive coordinator who replaced Rob Ryan right now. Ware remains on the sideline at Forte. No, you make a great point, Mike. With that neck injury. Inside of four minutes. Forte picking him apart. First and goal for Chicago. And they know it. The Bears know that the Cowboys are going to play a double zone and try to stop these big receivers and they are just taking the ball right at these linebackers. Look at number 53 just stepping in Cameron Lawrence. Good backside blocking once again by Kyle Long. They've run that play three out of the last four times and there's nothing that Dallas can do to stop them. The Bears have 26 first downs. Remember the record in a game is 40 and it was set by New Orleans against the Cowboys the start of last month. First and goal from the seven. Same play. Yep. Forte goes to the five. Just a matter of time before Mark Tressman calls a bootleg right off of that same run. When Where did he learn that from? <laughs> he used to coach with you. Gives you a lot of credit for him staying in football. Play clock running down. And there's Forte. Can he get in? Pass Skanker into the end zone. Chicago Bear touchdown. That's good. Again. That's great drive by Chicago. And Mark Trestman. You can feel that bootleg coming all the way up here. Slamming the ball off the left side repeatedly. Why not fake it to your left and run Forte across the formation? They faked the handoff to Alshon Jeffrey. And the Bears fool the Dallas Cowboys. Good design 
And there's that guy at Forte who can do it all. But simple math makes sense. Try to get to a 21-point edge. And McCown does with Marshall. Everything's just too easy. Goes directly to Cancer Research. And those of us who've had Coach Valvano and the foundation as part of our lives, we appreciate everything you do. Romo's got to get going. There's his rookie receiver, Terrence Williams, into Chicago territory at the 42. Tight splits here for the receivers, all close to the ball. And for release, Romo goes down to get out of the way. He avoided a sack by going down before he was contacted, but then is finally sacked, and it's Jeremiah Ratliff, the former Cowboy, along with Landon Cohn. Did you say Jeremiah Ratliff? It used to be Jay. Jeremiah Ratliff, number 96, right off your left side. Leary at left guard, Frederick at center. It's Landon Cohen, 97. It gets the initial penetration, and Ratliff cleans up. What a story he is. Trying to rejuvenate his career. He was once one of the most feared inside pass rushers in the league. Pressure on second and 15. And it's incomplete intended for DeMarco Murray. Tough night for Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones. His son's there watching the game here tonight. And, of course, Jerry Jones is very vocal this week. Very disappointed that the former Jay, now Jeremiah Ratliff, is playing on the opposite side of the Cowboys. This was a man who was seventh round pick in Dallas and three Pro Bowls in his eight years. Really became an impact player. Uh, four Pro Bowls, I should say. But then a hamstring injury, failed his physical, groin surgery, and he was one of, wanting to rehab more on his own than with the Cowboys staff. They felt that he could have uh, put a little more effort into his end. Ratliff didn't like the treatment plan. He didn't stay with the Cowboys, and they let him go. Passes caught was going to be well short of the first down as it's brought in by James Hanna. Well, that, that is true. First time Dallas has gone for it on fourth down this year. In over 90 fourth downs, and they got nothing to go. The pressure was coming. The Bears and James Anderson got there, and on downs, it belongs to Chicago. Well, Chicago has had their way with Dallas in every phase. They showed the double A gap pressure, and it's a busted protection. Nobody touches James Anderson. And, and then the Packers come calling in Texas on Sunday. Hurry, hurry, son. Bears take over to be around with Michael Bush. He gets over the 45. By the way, you saw that the Cowboys hadn't gone for it on first down, a fourth down in their first 12 games of the season and into this 13th game, dominating defense, the feuds within the team, Buddy Ryan and Mike Ditka. Talk to Mike Singletary about that this week. It's uh, quite some team that has lasted the test of time. Marshall on the catch. Then the throw by McCown to the 32 and a flag on top of it as well. Launching. We'll tack another 15 on here, Mike. All go special. You're going to see Bennett, Marshall, and Jeffrey surging down the field. And they're going to call Skandrick for launching. That's a good call by the Personal official. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. They'll go hit on a defensive player. Defense, number 29. 15-yard penalty. First down. The 17 account back to the air, floating it out to Michael Bush. 10 5. Touchdown, Bears. They are 7 for 7, scoring on possessions tonight. That's great preparation by the Chicago Bears. Once again, it's that pick screen, and McCown audibles to it. You're going to see Marshall come in and pick the linebacker that's covering Forte and right tackle Jordan Mills leads this pick screen. That's as well executed a play as you'll ever see. Recognition by McCown, execution by the offensive football team, and that's Mark Tressman and Aaron Cromer, respectively. Here's the run by DeMarco Murray, who is over 100 yards tonight. And takes it to the 43-yard lines. Right 
Packers come here week 17. Murray again. And DeMarco Murray. To week 37. Excuse me, Mike. You can see the inexperience of these Bear linebackers. That time, Jonathan Bostic, number 57, overruns this draw play. Too many big runs against the Bears, and Conti 47 continues to make a lot of missed tackles in the open field. Well, we know the Bears haven't stopped anybody running the ball. We talked about that earlier. Dallas got away from that a bit in the second and third quarter and here at 42 14 they're trying to in some ways just get out of dodge and try to survive now, well, it doesn't now they're running like 12 crazy. yards a carry right. exactly. I mean, that's three straight plus 10 yard carries and that's why Ratliff and Peppers are back on the field there's still a lot of time Absolutely. left <laughs> we saw enough yesterday to know that uh, you don't want to let anything silly happen so Murray needs a break Joseph Randall comes in and he gets taken down at the 20 yard line so we talked about this earlier we can now update the stretch of 100 yard rushers against the Bears Aaron Rodgers got hurt that Monday night but Eddie Lacy went for the buck 50 and just add on to it Bush a buck five here at Soldier Field then Ray Rice is 131 followed by Benny Cunningham of St. Louis last week over 200 for Adrian Peterson and tonight DeMarco Murray 144 six straight games the Bears have allowed over 100 yard rusher individual rusher and that ties an NFL record for the most times it's ever happened finding the ball carrier making some tackles Murray got away from Corey Wooten did not get away from Chris Conti the safety and he's tackled at the nine yard line as we dive under 11 and a half from in he and Terrence Williams come to the bottom of the screen and a disc caught that first touchdown thought he'd have a lot more opportunities Here's Romo coming back towards Dez, and it's too tall for him with Tim Jennings over on the coverage. There's that empty backfield, and it looks like the Bears are blitzing it. You get a first down at the one, and Romo looking for space to throw it. Lost it up there. Cole Beasley comes down with the duck, and it's a Dallas touchdown. It's Tony Romo something, isn't he? The 45, Fiametta leads the way. He got a little bit of a block on Kyle Wilbur. Nice. Run for two for four. There's Witten. First in the Cowboy offense. I mentioned it's been a quiet night other than the touchdown for Des Bryant. Two catches, 12 yards for Bryant here tonight. Forte is going to run to the right and take it inside the 40 and down to the 35 yard line as Forte closes in on a 100 yard rushing night. He can do it all. This kid, fourth day. Tonight, he set a tone for the Bears. Good, patient zone stretch running off the right side. He sets up his blocks. How about this blitz pickup? A defensive end. He covers the Bears for a big first down to Jeffrey, and then he slides out of the backfield. He's a great receiver, an outstanding runner, and very good pickup, man. Skip Pete is running back coach. Yeah. Got to be proud of him tonight. He's got 96 wow. yards rushing. Bush with the carry down to the 31. You talked about Forte and all the change that has been a part of his six year career here with the Bears. And he's over 1,000 yards now, is Matt Forte. Second only to Walter Payton in the all time rushing list. So I know Skip Pete wants to get even and get a piece of these Dallas Cowboys. Wow. Carried by Bush. Big holes being opened to the 23 yard line. And skips in the same boat as Joe DiCamillis. When you leave one staff and go to the other, it's always a uh, yeah. great night when you beat your old team. It certainly is. And his running backs are running extremely hard. There's Joe DiCamillis. He was the special teams coach of the Cowboys last year. He's loving this. You like to beat your old team. But this Cowboy defense. They have to find something that they can do well. And tonight it's been nothing. There were so many different faces and names. Cameron Lawrence in the first five weeks of the practice squad. He's been out there a decent part of this fourth quarter. DeMarcus Ware chases down McCown. 
and gets Josh and brings him down for the sack back at the 30 yard line. Pro football, you got to be able to adjust. It's a carry by Bush. Two tremendous pro football players at their positions. Third and 12. This is Forte out of the backfield. They just get the first down and go down. How about the presence of Forte to know where the first marker is? Get the first down and stay in bounds to wind that clock. He wants to get out of here. He wants to put some long sleeps on. Just a simple <laughs> check down. He says, there's the first down. I'll get it and I'll stay in bounds to wind the clock. That's real good football savvy. That's good stuff by Forte. It is also the Bears 33rd first down on the night. We mentioned that record of 40. That was set by New Orleans in the 49-17 Dallas loss. Forte pulled the ball at the 10-yard line. So he's closing in on 100 rushing yards. He's at 73 receiving yards. So there's 25 touches tonight. They've brought uh, right around 170 yards. I go back to McCown. He's going to become three and two as a starter. We've seen him twice now on Monday Night Football, Mike. <laughs> he went to Lambeau and beat the Packers. And tonight, he's 27 for 36 for 350. Just another night at the office for Josh McCown. What a job that he has done relieving Jay Cutler and Mark Trescan will have an interesting decision as they approach the finish line who to play at quarterback. Well, that's, that's an interesting point you bring up there. We're talking about long term. There's a short term conversation to be had as well. You know, I think you all know the Jay Cutler story. The contract is up at, at the end of the season. As Forte stopped, but you brought up a good point, John. What do you do here when Cutler's high ankle injury is healthy enough for him to keep playing? That's, they they really that. like McCown. You can uh, see that they have rallied around him and support him. He might be the first two-time Gruden Grinder winner ever. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm telling you. You can't do that. I can do anything I want on a cold night in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, man. And I'm not sure that's even a good thing, Mike. Kyle Orton is in at quarterback, the former Bears draft pick. And he had to Randall, the rookie running back out of Oklahoma State, Joseph Randall. So there's Kyle Orton. Remember, the Bears took him in the fourth round in 2005. And as Orton's is announced at quarterback, he, he gets a nice hand. Remember, he did uh, quite well when Rex Grossman was injured for this team. 21 and 12 as a starter. He was traded for Jay Cutler. He traded a one and a three. And Orton to Denver for Cutler. And here, the ninth year man out of Purdue. Mopping up. Short run by Randall again. Go back to that point. You uh, always been known as an offensive coach. You love offense. But you think all those points, not good for the game as a whole. I just think a lot of injuries this year. A lot of pass interference calls. Questionable yesterday. Some interesting Ways some interesting contributions to those 852 points. It's not all good offense. Horton throws to Gavin Escobar out of bounds with 221 to go. You know, I wonder if Aaron Rodgers is going to make that trip to Dallas next week as a quarterback of the Packers. There's that swipe draw play that Tyron Smith executes to perfection, but it'll be interesting to see if Dallas can lick their wounds go home and gear up for the Packers but boy would I love to see Aaron Rodgers return for the final three weeks it's not that cold <laughs> you <laughs> you've been whining for five hours about the weather tonight I've been whining since I got off the plane <laughs> what are you talking about Miles Austin look at Ray's hat with though. the catch to all the women and men on our crew not only had to uh, set up and work through these brutal conditions that pass in Incomplete, nearly intercepted by Chris Conti for safety. Uh, they also have to break down all the equipment. These are the best, <laughs> aren't they? Even, even the red lights <laughs> and the cameras look cold. They're keeping the camera warmer than they're keeping themselves. <laughs> right. They take better care of the equipment than they do their own. Look at them. It was shredded for 341 passing yards tonight. Yep. Could be a continued problem. 
Orton fires for Austin back shoulder and it's incomplete. Zachary Bowman on the cover. They might have to score a lot of points. So they're gonna run for it on fourth and one and after going 12 games without having a fourth down they finally convert their second opportunity with Randall Sir. on defense and Norv Turner is doing some good things with their offense they just can't close the game out there's Terrence Williams right at the goal line did he break the plane no it's ruled short with 25 seconds left and we'll see if Dallas can punch a touchdown in here before we're done Kyle Orton's an amazing quarterback. He just comes in no matter where he is. Denver, Chicago, or Dallas, and he moves your football team. Well, that looked like it should have broken the plane in the last two minutes. It has to be stopped upstairs for what that's worth. But it doesn't matter as Randall is able to run it in for his uh, second rushing touchdown of this rookie season. <laughs> I was looking at funny. And uh, there have been three games in the NFL this year where a team didn't punt. And two of them have come against the Cowboys. That Denver Dallas shootout, one of them. On the night they retired, Dick is number 89. The Bears hang more than half that, 45 on his old team, the Cowboys. 45 28, our final score. GMC postgame is next with John Gruden. Lisa Salters and our great crew fought through this brutally cold night. Mike Tirico, so long from Chicago. Here comes Sports Center.